Today's video is going to be a bathroom organization, what kind of products I keep in my medicine cabinet and in my like counter and stuff. I don't know, it's kind of just like a bathroom tour but I'm not showing you the bathroom, I'm just kind of showing you what's in my bathroom. And also just to let you guys know, this video is a collaboration with Kim from Van Chic Organization here on YouTube and she does a ton of different videos on different places to organize things in your like apartment and stuff or like wherever you are. And she just does really cool videos and I love organization so that's why I love her channel but she's going to be showing you uh, what her bathroom looks like and how she likes to organize that and so I'll have the video linked down below so you guys can go check it out and subscribe after and yeah that's basically all I really wanted to say for the intro of this video. I know my videos have been super long lately and I'm trying to work on that but it's really really difficult and I did also want to mention thank you guys so so much for 28,000 subscribers it really means a lot and without further ado, here's my bathroom. So this is basically just an overview of how I like to organize my bathroom counter, I guess. I like to keep my stuff in little bins, as you see over there, just because it keeps everything really nice and, like, tidy, which is really awesome. And it looks, like, neater, and with the, like, pink and everything, it looks a little bit prettier, because this bathroom isn't exactly the cutest. But I basically just have a Bath & Body Works hand soap over there, which I'm not going to get into, but that like scent is really awesome it's ocean sunset highly recommend and then I just have like my toothbrush and stuff over there but let's go ahead and get into what's in the corner of my bathroom so basically starting off on the side here I have my Crest 3D white uh, mouthwash and then my happy time Nivea lotion that I use after I shave my legs and everything in the corner and this pink bin is from winners if you're wondering but I'll just kind of just show you the products that I have in here and these are the products that I don't use on a daily basis, but I do use them regularly. So over here, I have my Nair Shower Power, and this is for sensitive skin. I have a oil-free eye makeup remover from Neutrogena. Oh, clean and Clear Moisturizer. Don't use it on a regular basis, obviously. I have a Dead Mud, Dead Sea Mud Mask thing. Those tend to break me out, so I haven't used it yet. And then I also have a Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Water Light Sunscreen. Pretty sure that's my friend Shay's, and she forgot it here. And now I have it. And I also have a Shon Sonia Kashuk um, brush and sponge cleaner for makeup brushes and stuff. I have a Cozy Autumn Vanilla Shower Gel. I have my Neutrogena Fresh Cleansing and Makeup Remover. This is like a cleanser and makeup remover. I really like that. I have my Kirkland Makeup Removing Wipes from Costco. Those are really great and they come in really big packages. And then I have my St. Ives Green Tea Scrub. I also just have my hydrogen peroxide that I use on my face. And then I have my Bos Bosha, Bosca, not sure, luminizing black mask. And then on the side here, which you can't really see, I have a couple packages of 3D Crest White Strips that I stole from my dad. Chances are he's not watching this, so I'll be good to take some more next time I'm home. And then in this little bin in the corner, I can't remember where I got this from. I think probably Bed Bath & Beyond, not sure, but basically in the front I just have like a little section here so I keep my toothpaste there and I'm just using the Colgate Optic White. And then I have my coconut oil that I use as a moisturizer, as eye makeup remover, I use this thing a lot. And then I also have my Alme Oil Free Makeup Removing Pads and these are really cool because they're basically, I'll just take one out to show you, but they're basically just little like round pads that you use to take off your eye makeup remover and I really really like these they're so convenient and they're really good for sensitive eyes I also have my cleanser right now which is the Aveeno clear complexion foaming cleanser love this stuff I have my retainer so that's cute and then I have just some cotton like round things for using my coconut oil or if I'm using a different type of toner so that's everything that I keep in the one that is right beside the sink now moving into the drawer that I have in my bathroom, I this is a messy drawer and like I'm supposed to be showing you how to organize and everything, but this is my messy drawer because um, there's really no way because a lot of these things are like different odd shapes. But basically on the side here I have all my Lush soaps that I was sent and so I have those like wrapped and then also bagged because I don't use them on a regular basis so I have them like in there to stay fresh. I also have that 
toner tab thing that I have not yet used. That is in there. I also have my, um, what is this thing called? It's a spin brush. I did a, it's the Vita Good spin brush for your face. And it comes with a whole bunch of different things. So I have the back, like the body scrub one, and then the two little heads, and then the, that one that's on it. So I use this not on a daily basis, but I do use it regularly, so it has easy access. And I'll have a coupon code linked down below if you want to go check this out, because it's way cheaper than the Clarisonic, and it works just as good. And the best part is you can use it in the shower, which is what I like to do. So... That's that. And then this side, I kind of just have razor stuff. It's kind of weird. I have like this razor here that attaches to the shower, as well as another shower attacher thing. And then a little cap for the razor I have now. It's the kind that has like the soap bar around it. It's really fantastic. And then on this side here, I just have some like toothbrushes. Because, you know. And I have my SteriPod on one of these ones. And yeah, that's about it. And then in the back I just have like some floss and stuff and another toothpaste because I have sensitive teeth so I have a Sensodyne back there. And then I just have like a headband here from Lululemon in case I want to pull back all my hair for when I'm washing my face. And then in behind my mirror I do have a little bit of shelving so I'm going to go ahead and just show you what I have on each individual shelf in here. So on this first shelf I basically have all my like Lush products so I have the Mask of Magnamenti. Not sure. I have Ocean Salt, and then I have the Bouche de Noel Facial Cleanser, and then I have the Grease Lightning Spot Treatment. I didn't really like this just because I didn't see that mm, good of results when I used it, but I still have it. And then I also have the Ponche Shower Gel, which is really small, so it's perfect for travel. In the back, I have a Tea Tree Skin Clearing Foaming Cleanser from The Body Shop, and I really like this stuff. I have already used like a whole bottle of it, and then... I bought another one and then just kind of stopped using it. And then kind of hiding in the corner, I have some Biore pore strips. On my next shelf up, I kind of just have miscellaneous stuff. This side is kind of hair stuff. So I have a Moroccan argan oil from Organics, which is drugstore. I also have the Baby Bliss Pro argan oil, cheese silk infusion, and then a deep, not deep conditioner, spray and leave-in conditioner. And I really like the smell of that. And then I have my Nair, which is for face and upper lip. And then I also have my Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser, which I use to clean my Beauty Blender. And my last two top shelves up here have all of my, like, medicine stuff. So I have, like, three different types of Advil, Midol, uh, vaporizing cold rub, so, like, Vicks Vapor Rub, which I also have down here. I have a Mucus and Phlegm Benalin. I have some pink eye stuff. I got some other prescription pink eye stuff from when I had pink eye last. I also have a Lush thing. This is basically like one of their tins and then it has um, like a scrub thing in it. It's super old and probably not sanitary to use anymore, but I keep it in there. I have my people's ear care thing for my earrings in case I need it. And I have some Tylenol. This is muscle aches and body pain. As you can tell, I like get sick. Well, I don't really get sick a lot. I just get a lot of headaches and need to take a lot of medicine. So that's basically what is in my mirror cabinet thing. And the last place I wanted to show you was in my like bathroom cabinet type thing. I'm not really sure what to call it, but I have a shelf in here. And so I have all my towels, which are from Target, as well as my cloths and my little towel wrap, which is all of that's from Target except for like the green towels. And then on this side, um, I highly recommend if you're going to be in college and you have some room for some bathroom stuff to get one of these. I got this at a secondhand store actually. It's kind of just like a little tray, but it holds everything really, really nicely into spaces like this. And so I'm not going to like pull everything out just because it's so far back and lighting's not very good. But in the back I just have some like soaps for the bathroom. I have my baby shampoo for my when I wash my brushes. I got a body wash. I got my Chic Intuition like razor little things. I got a spray bottle. I got a backup of my Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. I got a lot of Dove soap. I have my Saint Tropez tanning kit that I have not used. I also have another razor. I have the other half of my SteriPod. I have a Tide to Go, and I also have another toothbrush. In the back I just have like cotton rounds and another like facial cleanser and stuff. But that's basically what I keep in the bathroom cabinet because this is just like refill stuff and stuff I won't need on a regular basis obviously. So that's why I like to keep it all nice and organized in here. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my bathroom and kind of the products that I have in here as well as how I like to store them. And sorry I didn't really get into the organization 
of it too much, but I'm sure you're going to see a lot of organization tips in Kim's video, so again, I'll have it linked down below if you want to go check it out. And also give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see a what's in my shower video, because I have a new shower so I could show you what's in there as well if you'd be interested. And don't forget to enter the third MMG Feb Loves giveaway which was in my previous video, I'll have it linked down below as well so you can go check that out and go enter. Other than that, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Have a great day! Bye!